Hey you guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to remove the Windows 7 watermark, the send feedback watermark, and also the Windows 7 watermark that sits at the bottom right corner of your screen. Now, um, what was I going to say? Ah, yes. The send feedback watermark is probably the easiest one to disable. All you need to do is um, go to your start menu, type in reg, edit, hit enter and then all you need to do is expand three things you need to expand H key current user then you need to expand control panel then well you don't really need to expand desktop but all you need to do is just highlight it and then in this um, in this box just scroll down until you see feedback tool enabled double click that and the value data by default is 3. All you need to do is change it to 0 and then reboot. And that's pretty much it. And then the send feedback label, well, watermark that sits on Windows next to the minimize button will be gone. You won't see that anymore unless you change it back to 3. So that's really useful. Now the next one um, is a patch made by someone. I'm going to show you how to get it right now. So I'm going to go to Google. Now this patch will remove the, it basically patches your registry and removes the Windows 7 um, watermark that sits, that sits at the right corner of the screen. So yeah, it just basically tweaks your registry instead of you doing it yourself. So we're going to type in how to remove Windows 7 watermark. And it's the first link. It'll say the link will be windows7center.com slash windows7downloads, blah, 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 blah. Click the first one. And wait for it to load. And then it will give you some information about it and then some stuff. And then you'll get to this part where it says how to. And then it'll say download the patch here. So you're going to go there after you read everything and stuff like that. Then um, you're going to click on this link right here and then hit save then you're going to save it to your desktop or your downloads folder doesn't really matter if there even is a downloads folder in Windows 7 I know there ain't for me but maybe for you but yeah then you're going to extract it uh, I could do this a lot more faster if I just use 7-zip <laughs> so just extract it double click it and then you should have two applications in here. One's for 64-bit users, that's the top one. And the bottom one is for 32-bit users. So x86 is for 32-bit. And then x64 is, well, obviously 64-bit. So yeah, basically pick the version that you got, double-click it, and then it'll open up a command prompt. Well, before continuing on with this, you need to disable UAC. You could do this by going to your Start menu, Control Panel, user accounts and family safety go to user accounts then tick on change user account control settings by default the bar will be at the second line all you need to do is drag it down all the way to the bottom hit OK and then reboot and then once you're done with that open up the program again then just the and then a command prompt should open up again then to patch it just hit Y. There, you could read this if you want, but just hit Y, and then it'll say, "We have patched your system successfully." Blah blah blah. Then hit Enter. Then reboot, and then that watermark will be gone. And that's basically it. I'll supply the link how to get this in the description. But yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions about this, um, then send me a message or leave a comment, and I'll be sure to write back. And if you like my videos, please subscribe for more. Thanks.